what about progesterone? The most common way to give progesterone, which is so easy, is to take it orally as a pill or a tablet or a capsule. The problem is when you take progesterone orally, and this is really on my mind now, I'm just telling you, I've been looking at some very tiny studies that no one pays any attention to that really brought this back into my consciousness as really important that we rethink this. When you take oral progesterone, it goes through what's called the first pass through the liver. A huge percentage of it, but it's variable from woman to woman and not enough data is even on this, it's converted into allopregnenolone. Now, I told you allopregnenolone has its own set of benefits. It does not bind to the progesterone receptors, but it does help to facilitate GABA. And it's an antidepressant, anti-anxiety. That all sounds very good. But it's not progesterone anymore. It's allopregnenolone. It doesn't bind to progesterone receptors. So if a ton of it that you take orally of progesterone gets converted to allopregnenolone, what happened to our progesterone? We, we're not getting very much. So that can have its own set of issues. We're getting an unphysiologic. This is not physiologic. You, normal women in the reproductive years don't have this huge amount of allopregnenolone. Basically, when we give the oral progesterone, we're giving like a sedative, like a sleeping pill, along with an antidepressant. Now, maybe that's good in some amount, right? Maybe it helps women because women are having trouble with mood and so on. But when you give these large amounts, you're giving it like a drug. You know, you're not recreating a normal amount of progesterone or allopregnenolone. This is not natural. This is not physiologic. 